So we have an unmade bed back here. I make my bed every morning. I swear I just haven't gotten to it yet this morning. <laughs> Why am I already out of breath? I don't know. But I am just in a boisterous, is boisterous the right word? I'm in a mood today. I wanted to share the mood with you all. I wanted to gift you my energetic, I don't know if you can hear my stomach. I'm really hungry. It's noon. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. But I just wanted to, to, to share my energy with you and hopefully brighten your day. Bring a smile to your face. I don't know I am in a weird mood um but yeah so this last week I am so proud of myself I finally finished my class that I taken an incomplete in this last fall it was a mindfulness class and it was one credit and so I finally finished it so grateful to that professor for just being so empathetic and understanding and kind and just being incredible and the class was amazing and I felt like I gained so much from it as well the biggest thing I gained from it was this exercise called riding the waves of breath so I am such a visual person and what they were talking about was like when you breathe in you're imagining like this like wave and then when you breathe out you know the wave is like crashing I also combine that with like this heart thing that Gabby Rosen does on her Instagram where you just like make hearts, you can make big hearts, you can make little hearts. And to me that kind of looks like a wave. So I was kind of combining that being like breathe in, actually breathe in, breathe out. I'm like doing that exercise because I tend to get fidgety so doing something with my hands would be helpful so I can kind of combine those so if that's helpful for you let me know <laughs> but anyway so that was my favorite exercise from all of the mindfulness and meditation exercises that we did over the semester and then I also submitted for a medical leave of absence for this spring so my health has just been so bad and I really need to just focus on it because it got so much worse this last semester because of a really stressful class and I just need to focus on it. All of January I've had stomach issues. It's been incredibly painful, super bloated to the point where like I look pregnant and it's so incredibly painful to like press on. There's no give to my stomach wall. So basically what I figured out was when I was starting to eat a bunch of iron rich foods, so leafy greens and meat, that was very similar to when I was on the paleo diet a long time ago. And when I tried the paleo diet, which was part of my whole health stuff that I was encouraged to try, it was so bad for me. I tried it for like a month and by the end of that month, my primary care doctor like pressed on my stomach and there was no give back and she was like you need to stop this diet you are so bloated you are actively harming yourself with this diet you need to stop because I, I just didn't eat a lot of meat before that and the diet is like meat vegetables and like nuts <laughs> nuts are really hard to digest so I basically on this eating an iron rich diet I was eating like the same thing as this paleo diet nuts because they're good um <laughs> and i was eating a ton of meat and a ton of like leafy green vegetables and stuff but i'm just so not used to meat that it was really bad for my stomach so <laughs> your girl is going off of an iron rich diet not eating a lot of meat anymore because when i tested my iron levels last they did not improve at all so obviously something else is wrong and that is something we are trying to figure out but i just have so many health things going on right now my stomach is so bad so many other areas of my health are not good that i made the really really tough decision to take that medical leave of absence it was so incredibly difficult because i i felt like a failure in that i identify so much as being an overachiever a workaholic a perfectionist like those are how i've lived my life for the past like eight years and to admit defeat in my mind and have to take this medical leave of absence sucks because you know in the past while i've been dealing with really sucky health stuff i've still been able to do school and yes it was with accommodations but 
like I was I was still thriving you know what I mean and now my health has gotten to the point where it's so bad that I can't do that and it just feels like a defeat to me and I know it's not and I know that it is what I need just me taking the medical leave of absence is me like coming to terms with the fact that like I need to do this or my health is going to get even worse and I'm going to have to like do something drastic so that was my decision and that's what I'm going to do for the spring and just solely focus on my health and then upcycle and that's the goal that's the plan today I feel pretty energetic because I did finish those two things that were really hanging over my head and stressing me out and giving me anxiety and I feel like I'm out of the fight or flight so I've been sleeping a lot better I've been going to bed at like 9 and waking up in 8 a.m. and feeling great about that and so yeah there's just um, a lot to be grateful for. I feel so grateful that I can take time off of school and that I can work on my startup and I don't need to go find like a job while I'm also super sick and trying to heal. I mean, there's just, there's a lot that I'm very privileged in this situation and I'm very grateful for that. But that also does not take away from how sucky it is to feel sick all the freaking time and have so much so many projects and so much that I want to do for the world to make an impact and I can't right now I need to solely focus on my health and then upcycle and that's really tough you know but I am so excited to announce that we have two new team members on the Upcycle Design fam. One is a new internal impact coordinator and the other one is an external impact coordinator. So I will be giving you more information as we kind of onboard those two new team members, but I'm so freaking excited for them. They are both high schoolers actually and just incredibly, I don't know if, if badass is allowable, but like really really kick ass high schoolers who are so mature and I'm so excited for them to join the team so that is something else that's like been super super exciting and I'm really grateful for you know expanding that fam so I am going to go start my day and like get food because I haven't eaten yet and it's noon <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to kind of share an update and so much has been going on and I am just literally surviving day by day. So, you know, haven't been vlogging a lot because most days I don't feel good enough to vlog. So I'm only vlogging on days when I feel a lot better. So you're only seeing me on my best days, which is not really intentional because I think it's important to show the days that aren't as good. But when I don't feel good, I'm not going to vlog and that's okay. <laughs> and that's just a boundary that is fine you know so yeah that is the update I hope you are doing fabulously and I'm really hoping I'm not hoping that the weather gets warm because our, the weather has been way too warm for January but I just am chomping at the bit to get back outside and be able to go try going on walks again and trying to sit outside and do work and stuff because that just exponentially increases my mental health and my physical health so yes I can't wait for that coming soon <laughs> all right I am gonna go get breakfast and I hope you're having a fabulous day Ta -da!